Why, the head of the village. I will never hand over my land to you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your problem. But in the meantime, you're trespassing. Oh, this land here is ours. And therefore, you must pay us to live on it. Well, this land doesn't belong to you. This land is the property of my grandfather. This is our land and we won't let it go. We know that the land doesn't belong to you. <laughs> <laughs> you just listen to what I'm saying. It's been very difficult for our family. We've worked hard for so many years to cultivate the land and make it fertile. And we'll never give it up to you. It won't be that easy to make us give up our land. Tell me, where are you moving? This is our property. And we intend to pass this land on for many more generations. We're not afraid to defend our land. <laughs> All right. Listen to what I say carefully. You ought to give this matter some thought. Better think fast. You're wasting my time. The land is ours. I'm giving you just one last chance. Take time to reconsider, and then change your mind. <laughs> that man is really such a stubborn old fool. And I? I'm going to make him suffer for his stubbornness. Is that a fact? Why should we waste our time with a stubborn old fool like him? What's the great hurry we can afford to wait for a while until the land is more productive? What's that? You seem far too concerned about their well-being. I can't afford to wait around. If I were to ever start thinking like that, we'd all starve. Our only purpose is to make as much money as possible. I'm prepared to risk my life to make more money. What if I had my way? I'd cut the throat of every single villager. Are you mad? We need them to provide our income. We have to find a way to make them give up their land. Yeah. Yes. Follow me. Mom! <laughs> Sister, you're back. Yes. Chin tie asleep? Mm. I expect he's tired. Has the little boy eaten yet? I've just fed him. You go inside and have dinner. I'll come back very soon. Ah, uh, dear sister, look after yourself. Don't worry, I will. Ah, Chen Tong, you're a good boy. Come inside and do your homework. Yes, father. <laughs> Li Chen Chai. Li Chen Chai. <laughs> well, Mr. Li, we've come to hear your decision. I told these two friends of yours already. This land is of my family's heritage. I'm not giving it away to anybody. Hmm. Never before have I met any man more stubborn or more stupid. This land is mine. Now please leave and don't bother me ever again. Mister, that's about enough. <laughs> <laughs> Go away! I won't let them get away with this. I won't give up my land even if I have to die for it. They can't take my land away from me! Hurt! <laughs> 
kill the kid as well. You must be joking. There isn't any point in killing an innocent kid. All right, then. You can look after it. Ah, oh, great. What do you people think you're doing? <laughs> no point in your pretending. We promise you to set you free if you just hand over the money. There isn't any money. <laughs> well, take your clothes off. You won't call me your sister again. What can I call you? You're older than I am anyway. You should use my name, or I'll refuse to marry you if you don't. Shirley! 
Huh? Andy! 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 Look what she did to me. I'm completely drenched. Oh, dear. Shirley! Oh, Shirley, what's the meaning of this? Come back now. Come on. Go on. Gentai, your other auntie is very sick. You must come back quickly. Huh? My aunt is sick? Yes. <laughs> Auntie, I know you're going to be all right. Oh, my dear. I realize I'm dying. No, oh, Auntie. Everyone has to die when they reach their old age. The only regret I have must be the fact that I am dying without seeing you take revenge for your family. No, Auntie, you're not dying. You just have to live. You'll be very proud of me. You have to see me take revenge for my parents. Auntie! <laughs> Auntie! <laughs> Please help me to find the ruthless killers who murdered the members of my family so that I may take revenge for them. Auntie, thank you for looking after me so well. I'll always remember you. Take good care of yourself and may God go with you. Good luck. Could you do one more thing for me? Say goodbye to Shirley. Tell her I hope she finds a good husband. She's very upset. She couldn't bear to come and say goodbye to you. And she stayed behind. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Auntie. You must take care. Hey, brother. Would you mind telling me where you're going? Why should I answer your question, not knowing who you are? It's hardly any of your business. <laughs> I asked you a question. You'd better give me an answer. <laughs> I'm not going to allow you to give me any trouble. I have too many problems already. I don't need any more. Stay where you are. Only me. Huh? Sister Shirley. Must you call me sister? <laughs> sorry, sorry. My dearest Shirley. Does that sound any better? You're right. I will follow you wherever you go because I'm in love. Oh. Take my advice and go on home. You can't follow. Why can't I come? How am I supposed to be certain that you're not fooling around? 
Okay, okay. If it would make you feel happy, then you can come along. Mm. So you want to know about Hu Ching Ta? Yes. yes. Hmm. Well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, Twenty years ago, Hu Ching Ta lived in this entire area. Uh, he regarded it as his territory. Hu Ching Ta is a notorious bandit. And do you know where he might be at the moment? Oh, well, nobody could tell you that. Uh, why, he uh, left the area 15 years ago. Don't you have any idea? Well, there's a hill about 100 miles in that direction. There's a rumor that that's where he pushed off to. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Don't you like me? What's the matter? I... I... I want to know. I'm very much in love with you. And I'm just wondering whether... You feel the same for me. Yes. I like you very much. Is, is that right? I swear I do. Oh, Gentai. Oh. <sighs> hey there! What are you playing at? Surely you must realize that this is a public place. Maybe they're putting on a show. I'm sorry. Sorry. Now look what's happened. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves. Why should we? It's nothing to do with you. Get lost. You want it? very hard, and I'm pleased to say that your technique is improving every day. <laughs> I think you've both been working very hard. She's a clever girl. Jay Kang. Yes, Master. Deliver the money immediately to Ma Liang. Yes. There's a lot of money. You must be extremely careful. Yes, sir, I will. Father? Huh? Remember, you promised to show me your technique. Of course. <laughs> Come. Anything will do. Of course. Wait up. 
You better serve me now. Bottle your best wine. <laughs> Listen, we can't stay here too long. We still got a long way to go. You shouldn't worry about that. We have enough time to stay here and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, the only thing we have to worry about is that the money is delivered before nightfall. <laughs> <laughs> have a drink. My God, he didn't even wait to pick up his change. Wait up! Charge the bill to my account. <laughs> been at least two years since he last paid. My God, what is this place going to be? Huh? Who are you? Move away! Provided you hand over half of what you have inside that black bag. Huh? Must be tied to living. Get him. Right. Hey. Leave the bag and get going. <laughs> Delay any further, and I'll have your life as well as the bag. Get! <laughs> I'll get you! Where's your protection money? Oh, my business hasn't been too good recently, and I don't have any spare money. Uh, please, give me a few days. I'll give you this. Oh. 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 Your protection oh. fee! Please let me off, I beg of you. Oh. Oh. Bastard. Right, we're taking all this lot. Yes. Just a minute. What do you want? <laughs> we, uh, uh, all right, you tell him. Would you release him? We can pay. Here. Who are you two? Friends? Relatives? Oh, we don't know him at all. But we'd like to buy some information. Hmm. Give it here. What is it you want to know? We're looking for a man called Hu Ching Tao. Who are you looking for? Hu Ching Tao. I'm afraid I've never heard of him. Apparently he came to live here a few years ago. Is that so? As I said before, I never heard of him. Come on. Uh, sir, sir. Uh, I'm most grateful to you, sir. You'll be all right. God will protect you. I can tell that you're a good man. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take 
this and give it to Master Who? Yes. What about this month's protection money? Mr. Who asks about it, tell him I'll bring it to him soon. Yes. Interesting. How did that couple know Mr. Who's old name? Tells me you're wearing metal. Yes, this metal chain. <laughs> you're the only ones who've had the honor to see this heirloom. Yes, sir. What? Say that again? Master, I'll recover the money. I'll even pay with my life if I have to. Then how much money is your miserable life worth? You'd better go and find him immediately. Yes. And you better succeed. Or your life will be worth less than you think it is. Sir. <laughs> Father. Hmm? Why do you always have to scold them? I don't understand you. Why? Did I do wrong? Because everyone's so serious, this house is becoming cold. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I tell you something? You're the only person throughout the length and breadth of the world who I'm really afraid of. Uh, are you serious? Of course I am. Master! Master, I have a letter from Ma Liang. A letter? Yes. Here you are, sir. What is this? Leave us now. Yes. Sir. Ping Ta, you remain behind. Yes, sir. Father, can I stay here as well? I'm afraid not. You'd better go back to your room now. <laughs> because there are one or two things that I have to discuss with your uncle. Hmm? All right, Father. Good girl. What's in the letter? There's a young man in the area. Apparently, he's been looking for me. Been looking for you? That's right. He even knows me by my old name. He keeps asking everyone. But you changed your name. A long time ago. I want you to investigate this man. I want to know exactly who he is. Yes, of course. I'll go immediately. We still haven't found your family's murderer after 20 days of searching. <laughs> Don't you worry. He can't get away. We'll soon find him. <laughs> You're pretty confident. I've told you before. Wait till I get my hands on that guy. Mm. <laughs> what? you come from? Place called nowhere. Why'd you come to a place like this? There's no reason, and if there was a reason, it's nothing to do with you. Let's take him.
That was great. You're really terrific. <laughs> I think we'd better get out of this place before they come back with reinforcements. Hmm. You three, you proceed to the market. Try to locate the man there. And if you find him, remember to recover the money. Yes, right. sir. Uh, what is this? Remember that you had to pay protection money to that group of bandits? Well, I managed to recover the whole lot. I'm returning it to you. And you are? Take good care of yourself. <laughs> Chentai, uh. we are hungry and have no money. What should we do? If we can do nothing else, we can beg for a living. Even if I have to starve, I'll never give up looking for my family's murderer. I understand that. We're halfway through our search. And until we find the murderer, we mustn't give in. That's correct. I'm extremely glad that you're willing to help me. Aren't you feeling hungry? You have money? Mm. Come on. Do you have any? None at all. We'll just have to beg so that we can eat. What do you plan on doing? We'll have to sing while carrying a roll. Spare us some sympathy, spare us a thought less fortunate than Stop you that are now. You're angry? You fall around while I'm starving to death. You have a point. Waiter! Bring more fun. Where's that roast chicken? Mm -hmm. Idea. What is it? Watch carefully. Good day, mister. Just one bun. Eh? Just one bun? Correct. Oh! 
My roast chicken. Huh? That's my chicken. You thieving bastard! <laughs> I can take it. Bastard! 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 <laughs> right. You better come up with some answers if you ever want to leave here alive. I've no idea where that bag came from. I just found it. You're lying. Now, if you don't want to get hurt, you'll start telling the truth. It won't do any good to keep lying. We're not very fond of liars. Our boss hates stubborn people. If you make him angry, then you'll really suffer for it. I don't know anything. Honestly, I don't. You really are an extremely stubborn young man. Come on. So much trouble. Shirley. Shirley. You there. Eh? Where are you from? Well, where do you think? Huh? What's that? I just asked you where you come from. Stupid fool. Huh? Stupid fool? Only a stupid fool will call someone a stupid fool. Are you an imbecile? I find that very insulting. Do you want to die? Should you want to fight? I'll gladly fight you. Come on it. No chance, unless you're prepared to tell us who gave you the bag. <laughs> we have more interesting methods of dealing with girls. <laughs> No way to treat a lady, you shameless bastards! <laughs> uh. Your kung fu is very good, miss. Not very good. I just know a bit. 
Oh, don't go. Wait. Just a minute. Just a minute. Don't go. Please don't go. I want to talk to you. Who are you? Oh, come back. What are you doing? I only want to talk to you. Just a minute. Where are you going? I want to talk to you. What's your name? You shouldn't be following me. Why ever not? There. Buy yourself a dress. Oh. Who do you think I am? Maybe she's been kidnapped by a brothel. And where is she? What happened to you? Maybe you were raped. Look at the money. Oh, God, she's become a prostitute. Huh? Oh. What are you talking about? What do you mean? She must be out of her mind to do something like that. She sold her body. Nothing like that happened. I'm still a virgin. What? Are you really? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> thank Christ. I must apologize with the young couple. It's taking rather a long time for us to recapture. You bet they are. I'm in a very dangerous situation. On the one hand, they know exactly who I am. But on the other, I have no idea who they are. It's absolutely vital that you find them as soon as possible. I'm so sorry. That young couple are sure to be captured within a couple of days. My God! I've never heard anyone voice such confidence. And meanwhile, we'll send all our men after them. Then they can't possibly escape. Excellent. Rest assured, we're confident that we shall catch them. If they're not caught within two days, then you'll be in grave trouble. Yes, sir. I'll see myself out. Well, I'll come with you. We've always been good friends. Please. Footsteps. You must get more practice at creeping about. I will. What are you thinking about now, Father? Hmm. I'm thinking it's about time I found a handsome young husband for you. You're teasing. <laughs> How are you, Miss Who? Fine. Father, will you excuse me for a moment? Where are you going to? I'm going to buy some sewing thread. Didn't you buy some just the other day? Hmm. But that was imported thread. And I prefer to use the local brand for my sewing. The local brand? Exactly. Goodbye, Father. Chu Ching, I'll go with you. I'm quite capable of getting it myself, Uncle. Ping Ta. Yes? I'm worried about Chu Ching. After all, she is my only child. She'll be fine. Don't worry about her. She is growing up now, and she is no longer a little girl. Well, I love her very much. And I couldn't bear to lose her. Don't you worry. Nothing will happen. Men? Yes, yes sir. sir. You are to protect Chu Ching and make sure nobody harms her. Sir! sir. All right. Are you ready? Yes, just a second. My arm aches. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You better behave. Don't you dare do anything. No, I won't do anything. You ought to realize, 
It was just an accident. If it happens again, I'll kill you. All right, all right. Uh, please be quick. My arm aches. Okay. Ah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It wasn't deliberate. Sorry, Chen Tai. No matter. You got plenty of ventilation wearing this. You must take good care of that. What is this and why were you hiding it? An heirloom. An heirloom? You'd look nice in that. Why don't you wear it? Don't be an idiot. If I wear that, everyone will keep staring at me. And it'll be easy for whose men to single me out. Then why do you carry it around with you? It's very simple. That is a family heirloom. And so it's quite natural. I carry it around. I understand. May I try it on? Of course. Later on. You'll be able to wear it. But first of all, I'd better find you something to wear. Mm. Chen Tai! Huh? You be careful now. I'll wait for you here. All right. <laughs> there you are. Now nobody will be able to recognize me. I'll come back soon. <laughs> you again. What game should we play this time around? I just want our money. Hand it over. I've returned all the money to its owners. What? You pay with your life. The person you work for, what's his name? You want to know who he is? I'll tell you. His name's Hu Cheng Peng. Hu Ching Ta. <laughs> You're working for someone, and you don't even know the name of the bastard. And you pushing your luck, huh? Right. Thank you. I think I can handle him now. Well, who are you? I will never allow anyone to insult my father. I only called your father a bastard. I should have called him a murdering bastard. Shut your filthy mouth at once! <laughs> Here, how would you manage with just one arm? Let me go! Go tell your father to stop bullying the people. <laughs> Just stop following me about. Listen, yeah? The master's ordered us to follow her. Come on. <laughs> Master Ma! I 
of the youth, please. Right. Yes, miss? I'd like to buy some sewing thread. Really? Uh, do you require the thread for embroidery? That's right. I've just started learning. Right Master, be off with you. How do you expect me to give you any money? I've only just opened the store for business. <laughs> oh, my poor fellow. There, take this money. Here, what the hell do you think this is? Who do you think I am? Amazing. You seem very proud for a beggar. <laughs> well, that just goes to show how silly you are. Now, just stay out of my way. I'm so fed up with little bitches like yourself that if I see one more of you, I'll vomit! You must be crazy! Hey, you! Stop it! Why do you three keep on following me? We just wanted to make sure you're all right. Yes, well, I am. Now get going. Yes. Take this money. <laughs> I really wouldn't advise your staying around, so you better keep moving. <laughs> Shopkeeper, I'm going to use this money to buy women's clothes. <laughs> there you are. Here's the thread for you. Goodbye. Stallkeeper. Just who the hell is that woman? Oh, yes, uh, she's the daughter of Hu Ching Peng. Hu Ching Peng? Why, yes. Uh, everybody knows Hu Ching Peng. After all, before he came here, he was a bandit. Ooh, ooh, uh, perhaps I'm talking too much. Uh, uh, all right, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find something suitable somewhere amongst these. Uh, here, how about this one? Uh, this one's nice. Take a look at this. Eh? What do you think? Hmm? What I'm about to say is of the utmost importance. It's absolutely vital we catch the stranger in the straw hat. Master Hu is very angry indeed about the whole situation. And if we should be unsuccessful in catching this man, then we'll all pay with our lives for it. We must all therefore cooperate and find a way to catch this man. That way we'll have a better chance of succeeding, but it would be most unfortunate if we lost our lives for a mere stranger, am I right? Most yeah. unfortunate. What do you want? My father at Yi Wu village over 20 years ago. You murdered a man called Li Ching Tai. What? I've dreamt of you, you bastard. Over the past 20 years, you bastards are all bloody murderers. I'd have been wiser to kill you at the time. But I made a mistake of allowing you to live. The one who killed my parents. Which is why you're going to suffer. <laughs> you must be a madman. It's not that simple, Paul.
won't be able to get very far. When? You've been pierced by this sword, you don't live very long. <laughs> <laughs> If you see a man in a straw hat, report him to us. Yes, sir. Sir. Hey there. Did I hear you? You did. Come closer. Now, just tell us where you're going. Oh, sure. Well, I'm going where I normally go, to beg for some food. Perhaps you've seen a man in a straw hat. There's a reward if you have seen him. I'm afraid I haven't. Are you quite sure? Honestly, I really haven't seen him. Imagine a beggar turning down money. <laughs> <laughs> now, my friend, you're always wandering about from place to place every day. And you really mean to tell me you haven't seen him? That's right. I've never seen him. Oh. What is that? Oh. Show it to me. No! Bastard! <laughs> One, two, three. That's not fair. Won't fight you. <laughs> it's impolite to bother other people. Eh? Right, you impertinent bastard! Remember I told you about the man in the little cap? Yeah, and we looked everywhere for him without any success. Mm. I suspect that he has something to do with the man who is wearing the straw hat. We have to find them even if it means searching for them day and night. Uh, Sir! Uh, your clothes. All right, who is he? I have no idea. Will you just get some water? Uh, hey. Just a second. I think that... What is it? He's the one who gave me the money. Really? Mm. Well, we must do our best to tend to his wounds. Brother, wake up. <laughs> well done. You've done a very good job. <laughs> now, this is for you. Well, look inside. It's a reward from your master. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, oh, this is truly wonderful. <laughs> when anybody who's working for me carries out a difficult mission, it's only right that I reward him. <laughs> Thank you, Master. <laughs> However, there's more than just one of them. You've only managed to dispose of one of the gang. You must therefore be very careful. Yes, sir. Uh, my God. Brother. You were so young when I last saw you. I never thought that you would grow up. I never thought that I would see you ever again. Brother. I'm very weak because of my wounds. I only wish that I had more strength to speak to you. Dear brother, the past is not the important thing at the moment. Right now, 
We have to take revenge for our parents' death and take back the property and land that our parents worked so hard to keep before. That bastard sword. It was magnetic if only I'd realized. What are you doing? I'm trying to think of a way to destroy the magnetic sword. Your brother is very badly hurt. Are you aware of that? I'm well aware. But after I take revenge, he will get better. I hope you're right. He'll get well if you look after him. Shirley, please do your best for him. I will. You better take this. I mustn't wear any metal on my body on account of the magnetic sword. I'll mind it. is for you. Mm. Share it with the others. However, remember the orders of the master who? Sir. The bastard with the cap. We have to get him. We'll seek him out wherever he is. Then dispose of him. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the brother of Li Chen Tung. My father, whom you murdered, was Li Chin Chai. Hmm. If that's really the case, then join your family.
Killed by whom? Sir, he was killed by the son of Li Chin Tai. How could Li Sun possibly be still alive? Ping Ta! Sir! Take Chu Ting to a safe place. You are to evacuate the house. But why? Although she's not my own child. I love her very much and I don't want her hurt. I understand. Men, let's get going. Quickly! Outside. Father, father, I made you a purse with the thread that I bought. Here, I want you to take it. There. Go on. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry we had to do this to you. But there's really no other way. Sorry. Shirley, stay here for a while with my brother's body. Oh, but I'll come too. Because I might be able to help you fight him. You can do that. I want someone to stay here with my brother's body. And in any case, if you did come, I don't think you could be of much help. Why? Thanks anyway. Chen! Chen Tai! Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you the son of Lee Chin Chai? That's right, I am. And are you Hu Ching Ta? Hmm. Should you decide to beg for my forgiveness, I might decide to let you go free. Bastard. I think you ought to be the one to beg my forgiveness. If you insist on refusing to beg for forgiveness, I shall have to take your life. I think it's going to be very difficult for you to take my life. Shan't be that difficult. Prepare to die. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
How would you prefer me to kill you? You have several options. Surely. Su Ching, our family should be able to rest in peace now. Yes, brother. Aunt, we must go. Mother, do take care. Yes, I wish you every happiness. Thanks. Right, run along now. Yes. Come along. Bye. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> 